attorneys for former President Trump say the affidavit released yesterday into the search of his Florida home only helps prove his alleged innocence. Also, the first piece from the newest naval ship to bear Wisconsin's name is unveiled to the public. And it's one of the longest running outdoor music festivals in America, taking place right here in Madison. We visited the Orton Park Festival celebrating its 57th year. That's all coming up right now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McKenna Alexander. Some thunderstorms passed through earlier today and more in the forecast. Let's go ahead and send things over to Julian Seawright, who has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Julian? Well, McKenna, that's right. So we are going to be expecting to see some storms, but just not for tonight, at least for many of us. However, we are looking at our radar. Some of those storms are starting to roll their way into Viroqua and La Crosse and even parts of Crawford County. But overall, much of South Central Wisconsin is going to stay dry, and that's going to be the theme throughout the rest of tonight as well. So we're not going to have to worry about it, and it's a good thing, too. We saw plenty of rain coming in from Black River Falls down to Dane County, and that had ranged from three and a half inches to some areas seeing just about an inch. So we got quite a bit of rainfall over the course of the last 12 hours since we had that system that rolled through. Now, taking a look outside as of right now over to Capitol, we got to check out how we did for today. Well, since we got that outflow boundary, that kept things rather cool. It was almost like a cold front that moved its way through. With gusty cool winds, which really why our temperatures only topped out at 77 degrees. And we've been seeing those lower 70s throughout the course of the day as well. So as we take a look at our current temperatures, that's exactly what we're seeing. Cooler air into central Wisconsin. And then for us here in Dane County, a bit more towards the Illinois state line, we're into those lower 70s as well. But we're going to time out when we could expect to see some more storms in just a few moments. Until then, let's talk about you, McKenna. All right. Thanks, Julian. There's a new fallout tonight from the release of the redacted affidavit used to justify the FBI search of former President Trump's Florida residence earlier this month. With so many parts of the 38-page document blacked out, it raises a new legal and national security questions. Michael George reports from New York. Director of National Intelligence of Real Haynes says her office will lead an assessment of the potential risks to national security posed by former President Donald Trump keeping classified documents at his Florida residence. In a letter obtained by CBS News, Haynes writes that her office is working with the Department of Justice to facilitate a classification review of relevant materials, including those recovered during the FBI search earlier this month. A redacted version of the affidavit used to obtain the search warrant revealed that of the 15 boxes of government records Mr. Trump had at Mar-a-Lago and returned to the National Archives in January, 14 had classified documents, some including sensitive information critical to U.S. intelligence gathering. That is the linchpin of the entire affidavit. We are talking about materials that could kill people as well as, of course, reveal sources and methods really undermine our national security. Investigators found 184 documents with classification markings, including 67 documents marked as confidential, 92 marked as secret, and 25 top secret. The FBI agent who wrote the affidavit also said there was probable cause to believe that evidence of obstruction will be found at Trump's property, as well as contraband, fruits of crime, and other items illegally possessed. The former president and his Republican allies remain frustrated with the search. In a court document filed late Friday, attorneys for Mr. Trump wrote the redacted affidavit provides almost no information about why the search took place. The president is asking for the appointment of a special master to go over the seized records. A court hearing on that matter is now set for Thursday. The former president is also requesting an injunction that prevents the U.S. government from reviewing the materials retrieved from his residence. In some local news now, in the ceremony this morning, the Wisconsin Veterans Museum unveiled a piece of the new USS Wisconsin submarine. This item is carrying on a century-plus naval tradition here in the state of Wisconsin. As our Catherine Merck shows us, this small piece from for the museum at the square says big things about the role of our state in the Navy. It's a huge deal. It's putting the state's name on international waters. It's the pride that Wisconsin has in its maritime history and future. A piece of the USS Wisconsin has now made its way to the Wisconsin Veterans Museum. There you go. <laughs> 
and the Capitol Square with a plastic replica. This submarine will carry the name of the Badger State. So just how big of a submarine are we talking here? The one that's outside the Wisconsin State Capitol is only an 11th of the size of the actual USS Wisconsin. The real one is double the size of the state capitol. There are not that many ships in the United States Navy. There's less than 200 ships sailing the waters today on active duty. To have one of them connected to Wisconsin and named for the state is a big deal. It's huge for the community as well. People of every age get the opportunity to learn about the country's naval forces. Our young uh, present generation gets to learn about STEM. If you think about all the STEM activities, the science, the technology, the engineering, we are now bridging people of the submarine force to the home state. What's next for this vessel will surely be its biggest mission. Having Wisconsin, something named for this great state, go around the world, be on duty as part of the active Navy for 40 years, which is what it will be, is just an incredible thing for the state. Reporting in Madison, I'm Katherine Merck for News 3 Now. The USS Wisconsin is one of 12 submarines under construction at a cost of over $7 billion. The sub is scheduled for completion in 2030, where it's expected to be used by the U.S. Navy for at least 40 years. And some more local news tonight. A rescued beagle got to get up close and personal with her new owners this afternoon here in Madison. This is Peanut Butter. She was rescued from horrific conditions in a Virginia puppy mill. Dane for Dogs has been taking care of Miss Peanut Butter since mid-June, along with six other dogs recovered from the same puppy mill. Those six dogs have also found forever homes here in the Midwest. And I'm tearing up looking at these, these dogs going to these wonderful homes now. It's just such a different life for them from where they would have been. It's one of the most rewarding things you can do is see the love in a dog's eyes. Dane for Dogs reports that in just two months, Peanut Butter has transformed from a shy, timid girl into a sweet, brave, and curious dog. The next step is just getting her house trained. Vintage ceramics were on display and for sale this afternoon at the Wisconsin Pottery Association show. More than 40 art dealers showed off their craft at the Alliant Energy Center, hosting a variety of vintage and modern ceramics, including dinnerware, stoneware, tiles, and figurines. It's been a great day. There's been a lot of uh, people that have come in very steady traffic. Yeah, we have dealers from Michigan, Indiana, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois. And um, it's, just, it's just a great event. Members of the association had some of their favorite pieces on display. And just for fun, you could even bring your unidentified art pottery pieces for members to try and identify. Yeah. Looking ahead now, drivers will need to pump the brakes a bit along two and a half miles of Mineral Point Road in Madison starting Monday. As part of the city's Vision Zero plan, the speed limit will drop from 40 to 35 miles per hour. The section impacted is from South Whitney Way to the Beltline. Now this comes as a total of 15 people have suffered serious injuries due to crashes on Mineral Point Road since 2016 with four others dying. That includes a bicyclist who was killed in early June. And if you travel on North Shore Drive during your morning commute, listen up. That road is now closed and will remain partially closed until Thursday. Crews have started work on a two-phase process to replace the railroad track that crosses the road near John Nolan Drive. North Shore Drive is completely closed from South Bedford Street and John Nolan Drive until Monday. Then phase two will begin and is expected to run until Thursday, September 1st. Traffic on North Shore Drive will be back open then, but the eastbound section of the road will be reduced to one lane. Delays are expected on John Nolan Drive and North Shore Drive during construction. Around Wisconsin tonight, a prison supervisor at the Racine Prison has been arrested, accused of having repeated sexual encounters with an inmate in her office. The Sheriff's Office first received allegations on Wednesday that a 37-year-old Racine Correctional Institutional Officer was having an inappropriate relationship with a prisoner. Investigators learned she'd given the inmate a cell phone, and when they seized that phone, they said they found support to the allegations. The inmate told investigators they'd had sex between 20 and 40 times since April. That correction officer is being held at the county jail on a $1.1 million cash bond. She's not being named because she has not yet been formally charged. 
New tonight at 10, families of the victims from the Uvalde School Massacre protested at the Texas State Capitol steps today. Joining them were also Austin residents and support of the group's demand that the age limit to purchasing an assault weapon be raised to 21. The protesters are asking Texas Governor Greg Abbott to call in a special session to raise the age limit. Many of them who lost children or siblings in the mass shooting say the action should have been taken months ago. We need change. We need change. This kid was 18 years old. 18 years old. Not even able to buy beer, but able to buy AR um, AR um, There's something not right there. Gun advocacy groups, moms demand action, and student-led gun control group March for Our Lives took part in the protest. So far, there has been no response from Governor Abbott. And new protection tonight against COVID-19 likely on the way. The Food and Drug Administration is expected to approve Pfizer's updated booster within a week's time. The shot is designed to protect against the Omicron strains that account for most new coronavirus infections. Pfizer reports that new vaccine also protects against older variants. A CDC advisory committee is set to meet Thursday and Friday to discuss that booster. With less than 48 hours ahead of a historic trip, the Artemis 1 mission is on track for liftoff to travel around the moon and a new era of space flight on Monday, just five decades after NASA's last trip to the lunar surface. Isabel Rosales has a preview of the preparations behind the launch. We do feel good about our attempt on, on Monday. The countdown has officially started for the launch of the Artemis 1 mission to its historic lunar journey from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The mission will test the new Space Launch System rocket, Orion spacecraft and other components designed to make deep space travel safer for humans. 50 years after the last Apollo mission, the Artemis 1 mission is the first step in NASA's plan to return humans to the moon. Well, we're going back to the moon in preparation to go to Mars. That's the difference. Uh, 50 years ago, we went to the moon for a day, uh, a few hours, three days max. Now we're going back to the moon to stay, to live, to learn, to build. As the launch teams arrived at their stations at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida this morning, all eyes on any potential mishaps. Our potential outcomes on, on Monday, are that we could go within the window or we could scrub for any number of reasons. We could have weather, we could have technical issues, or we could have a range and, and public safety um, uh, hold and uh, or a combination of any of those. If it all goes according to plan, the spacecraft will orbit around the moon, traveling a total of 1.3 million miles over just 42 days before splashing down off the coast of California in October. For now, Artemis 1 is one step closer to the moon. Its first launch window is Monday between 8.33 and 10.33 a.m. Eastern. I'm Isabel Rosales reporting. Officials are tracking some spotty showers expected for Monday, but as of right now, say it's not expected to postpone that launch. Still ahead tonight, one of America's longest running outdoor music festivals is back, and the best part, it's free. How the Orton Park Festival gives back directly to its neighborhood, coming up next. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado pickups. Plus, get 2.89% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Wow, this is where you work now? Figured I deserved a more inspiring space. And with home values being up, I had a lot of equity. So I got a home equity line of credit from Summit, and voila, added a home office. Took your business to the next level. Hey, you two have been in your place for a couple years now. Any fun plans? Well, we just finished a refi with Summit. Mm -hmm. Really? And the plan is to make a bunch of great memories. We're gonna use the savings to get a camper. Whatever your goals, Summit Credit Union can help you use your home's equity to go get them. It's time for new energy-efficient replacement windows from Champion. Right now, buy two windows, get two free. Don't sweat over high energy bills. Stay comfortable in your home all year long. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. 
What's so great about being a Pick and Save Boost member? Free delivery on the Pick and Save products you love and more rewards like double fuel points. Boost by Pick and Save Fresh Perks, a new level of membership starting as low as $59 a year. Learn more at pickandsave.com. New Astapro Allergy. No allergy spray is faster. With the speed of Astapro, almost nothing can slow you down. Because Astapro starts working in 30 minutes, while other allergy sprays take hours. And Astapro is the first and only 24-hour steroid-free allergy spray. Now without a prescription. Astapro and go. With Honda, every summer adventure is the destination. Take your adventures farther with Honda, America's most fuel-efficient full-line automaker. Hurry in to a local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. Coming up tomorrow, we're live all morning from the Susan G. Coleman More Than Pink Walk. And we're tracking those showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning and see if that impacts your afternoon tomorrow at 6.30. Tonight, the corner of Spate and Intersole has come alive the past three nights with the return of the Orton Park Festival. That festival, now in its 57th year, features fresh eats, arts and crafts for sale, quirky traditions, and of course, live music. Some passing showers earlier in the day brought that music to a halt, but of course, only temporarily. One of the best things about the festival, admissions free, and it's thanks to its sponsors. But money raised from the event does help those living and working in the neighborhood. Money, the proceeds for the festival, um, stays right in the neighborhood and goes into scholarships for high schoolers in the neighborhood, lots of youth programming, um, some business help in the Willie Street area. And um, so I, I don't think that that can be sp spoken uh, too loudly, that it, uh, it, it's, uh, all, of the, all of the money stays in the hood. You still have one more day to enjoy the festival for yourself. The live music starts back up tomorrow at noon. If you're tossing and turning at night, you might consider getting a mattress topper to help with a better night's rest. The experts with Consumer Reports share tips on how to choose a topper and when it may be time to go ahead and just spring for a new mattress instead. We're always looking to make the sleep the best it can be. Denise Friedley runs a vacation rental and she takes her guests sleep very seriously. She's wondering if adding mattress toppers to the beds is worth the money. There just seems like there are so many choices between the actual shape of the top, the material. Consumer Report says before you buy, it's important to know what a mattress topper can and can't do. A mattress topper can help relieve pressure points for back and side sleepers, and it can also make a good mattress feel even more comfortable. There are several types to choose from. Among them, memory foam toppers are a popular choice. They offer that sinking in feeling. Expect to pay anywhere from 50 to about $300, depending on the thickness and materials. The only thing about memory foam is it does trap heat. So you might wanna consider another kind if you sleep hot. There's also latex made from the sap of rubber trees. It offers a springier feel and it can be naturally cooling. If you're craving a comfier, fluffier feel, try wool, cotton, feather, and other fiber fills. But before you spend the money on a topper, CR says take a hard look at your mattress because a topper can only do so much. Adding a mattress topper to a caving, sagging, or otherwise non-supportive mattress is not going to make it more supportive or better to sleep on. At that point, it may be best to just invest in a new mattress. And if you're a smart shopper, you can get a new mattress that performs very well in CR's rigorous tests for a little more than some of the priciest mattress toppers. Take this Tuft & Needle Original mattress. Tests show it's ideal for both back and side sleepers. This is Teresa Panetta. Mattress topper or not, I know I get the best night's sleep whenever there's some rain on my window, Julian, and am I gonna get that tonight? 
Answer is no. Oh, man. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> for us here in Dane County, we're not going to be expecting any overnight rain showers. But for our friends to the west, oh, they're going to be seeing some thunderstorms for us tonight. But as we take a look outside, cloudy conditions here in Madison. But looking ahead over the next few hours, it's going to be cloudy and it's going to be mild. Upper 60s, humidity is going to stick around. And don't worry, folks, you were looking for some more rain. Well, it's on the way as we get into our Sunday. Heading into tomorrow, we're going to be looking at mostly cloudy conditions. Again, with some scattered thunderstorms to be possible. And we we will see more rain in the forecast. But as of right now, this is what we're looking at. The northwest is where we're seeing another cluster of some showers and thunderstorms. But for the rest of south central Wisconsin, well, we're going to stay dry throughout the course of the overnight hours. We're not going to be anticipating to see much more rain until we get into our Sunday morning. Now, outside of that, though, here's a quick look at what we saw over the last 12 hours after we had an outflow boundary, which brought in almost a burst of cold air, which activated quite a bit of some showers and even some thunderstorms from Dane County and areas to the north. We had ranges from three and a half to about an inch of rainfall, stretching from Black River Falls to parts of Dane County as well. So we got a good dose of some rain throughout the course of our Saturday. But as we go into Sunday, we are looking for more on the way. On the way, excuse me. As we go into, again, around the 7 o'clock hour, is where we're going to be watching for us to see some potential of some rainfall with moderate to heavy uh, intensity, which is going to continue to stretch its way throughout much of southern south central Wisconsin by the time we get into our mid morning, late morning hours. So we could be seeing once again that rain just really sticking around throughout the course of our Sunday and especially by the time we get into our Sunday afternoon. But that's just going to be one part of it because as we get into our overnight going into Monday morning, we're looking at more rainfall, which could be pushing our rainfall totals from about a quarter to a half of an inch around Dane County and areas to the northwest could be seeing close to another inch adding on to what we've already had for uh, over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours. But outside of that, we do have our more than a pink walk going into our Sunday morning and to start of it, we may see a couple of showers, but throughout the course of the event, some thunderstorms are going to be possible, especially towards the late morning hour knocking on the door of our lunchtime. So make sure that you have your rain gear ready to go and you're anticipating to be just a little bit wet throughout the course of the event. Our three things we're going to need to know. We're having some rain and some storms likely for Sunday, but in a shot of some more showers going into our Monday, but then we're going to be dry as of right now through Labor Day. So our Labor Day weekend is going to pan out to be almost picture perfect as we're going to be into the 70s, which is pretty normal around this time of year. And then heading into next weekend, warm up just a tad bit into the lower 80s, which is going to be perfect for boating weather as we get into our Labor Day weekend. Yes, I know that's smile. Face. I was going to say, we were talking earlier how we still have not been in a boat this summer. Nope. We realized we both have, but not Madison. Right. We want to go to Lake Mendota or Monona. We want to have that local boating experience. Yes. So again, it's one of our last calls this summer. If you have a boat, call us. We have our emails. We'll still <laughs> mine, Twitter, everything. Let us know. Please, please. I'm crying internally. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes physically. All right. Thanks, there. Jillian. The Brewers are trying to snap the skid. We have more from Game 2 with the Witch Cubs coming up next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Better skin from your body wash? Try Olay Body Wash with skincare super ingredient collagen. Olay Body Wash hydrates for healthier looking skin in just 14 days. From dry and dull to firm and radiant. With Olay Body, I feel fearless in my skin. It only takes a second for an everyday item to become dangerous. Tide Pods Child Guard Pack helps keep your laundry packs in a safe place and your child safer. To close, twist until it clicks. Tide Pods Child Guard Packaging. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. A new Chevy is the smart way to hit the open road this summer. The smart way to road trip and seek new adventures. 
Go a little farther this summer in a new Chevy. Find new get up and go. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2022 Equinox models. Plus, get 0% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Made in America is more than just a slogan. It's smart policy. When we manufacture things here, our shelves are stocked. And it creates jobs you can raise a family on. Like my parents had. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I'm tired of the excuses from millionaires running the Senate. I'll bring manufacturing back here so folks like you who actually earn your paychecks finally get a fair shot. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. At USAA, we've been called too exclusive because we only serve those who honorably serve. All ranks, all branches, and their eligible family members. Yep, that is exclusive, and we're fine with that. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Constipated, feeling weighed down by a backed up gut. Miralax is different. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. Free your gut and your mood will follow. The defending national champion started the season off with a sweep of TCU last night. And one of the newest Badgers led the way. Sophomore transfer Sarah Franklin tallied 12 kills while Wisconsin faces 16th ranked Baylor for its second match of the Big 12 Big Ten Challenge. And the Bears win it in five sets. UW is led once again by Franklin. This time she's put up 22 kills. The Badgers now return to Madison for their home opener on Friday against Marquette. College football, it's officially back. And representing the Big Ten in the opening weekend is no Nebraska, Northwestern, and Illinois. Illinois. The Cornhuskers and Wildcats played earlier today in Dublin, Ireland, where Northwestern got the win 31-28. Illinois also getting a dub today over Wyoming. The Badgers open up their season a week from today at Camp Randall, where they're going to host Illinois State. The Brewers have had a rough go lately. Fresh off an extra innings loss to the Cubs last night, extending the skid to three games, also moving them six games out of first place in the NL Central. Back for game two with the Cubbies, and Brandon Woodruff is absolutely dealing. Over six innings of work only allows four hits, no runs, and fans ten batters. Finally in the seventh, the bats start waking up. Leading 1-0, Christian Yelich turns it into a four-run lead off his three-run homer. While well, the crew is definitely home run happy tonight, Colton Wong and Willie Adamas add to it. The Brewers get the 7-0 shutout, and the rubber match is set for tomorrow at 110. With the preseason in the books, it's time to start trimming down the roster for the final time. Matt LaFleur has made it known over the last couple of weeks that there's going to be a lot of tough decisions, seeing how everyone's performed to this point. The, that 53-man that 50, roster needs to be set by Tuesday afternoon, and with the Packers having played on Thursday, they have a different timeline than other te teams do. LaFleur hopes to knock out two practices before things got to be finalized. Definitely think that we can get some value out of continuing to practice, and Quite frankly, I think there's a lot of tough decisions that are, that that uh, our guys are making for us, which is exactly what you want. So we'll have a couple more opportunities to get out on the grass, and you know, before we have to make down the the, the final roster. Steve Stricker making power moves in round two of the Ally Challenge. After sinking nine birdies this afternoon, the Madison native jumps up 32 spots on the leaderboard. He is in second one shot off leader Scott Dunlap. And Jerry Kelly is tied for 28th, four under overall. Inclement weather affecting the third round of the tour championship play has been suspended until tomorrow with the final round set to begin late in the morning. Scotty Shuffler is leading at 20 under overall. Xander Shoffley is one shot back in second place. All right. Thanks, Jordan. A final check of your first one forecast is coming up when we return. Come on, Brian. I'm Brian.
Ready, Brian? Summer won't last forever, but you can go out and make memories that will during Toyota's national sales event. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. Yes. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. Good. Thanks, Mara. There you go. One new inhaler. Nice. Did you get my refill, too? Maybe. There you go, sir. You're a lifesaver. So nice day. Healthier is managing all your family's prescriptions in one app. CVS Pharmacy. Healthier happens together. New Astapro Allergy. No allergy sprays faster. With the speed of Astapro, almost nothing can slow you down. Because Astapro starts working in 30 minutes, while other allergy sprays take hours. And Astapro is the first and only 24-hour steroid-free allergy spray. Now without a prescription. Astapro and go. I worked really hard to save for retirement, worked all the hours I could, whatever it took. But Ron Johnson thinks we should consider raising the retirement age for Social Security and Medicare. That's a terrible idea. And he voted over and over again to weaken and cut Medicare, driving up our costs. Ron Johnson even wanted to privatize Social Security, calling it a legal Ponzi scheme. Tell Ron Johnson to strengthen Medicare. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer. During the final days of the summer supercharged sales event, you still have time to lock in your order on select Ford vehicles and we'll lock in your rate. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. So stop by your Ford dealer today during the final days of the summer supercharged sales event. Hurry to lock in 2.9% financing for 60 months on select Ford trucks and SUVs only at your local Ford dealer. Join me in the 608 weekdays on News 3 Now this morning. All right, Julian, we got quite our dose of showers, some lightning storms last night. Will you be seeing the same tonight? Lightning storms, thunderstorms. There was a lot of lightning <laughs> in my window. <laughs> I'm just asking if I'll see the same it's thing okay. tonight. No, you're fine. Uh, we do have a shot for some areas to see some thunderstorms overnight, but overall, it's not going to be many of us. We're actually going to stay rather dry until we get into our Sunday morning. Then, yes, we're looking at another repeated show of some thunderstorms that could even lead into our Monday morning as well. But the good news is, once we get into Tuesday, it is smooth sailing. It's a Labor Day weekend. All right. Thanks, Jillian. And thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow.